Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today's video is April favorites and I'm hoping I can get it up today. Today's May 3rd, Sunday. I wanted to film this video earlier. I really hate to put up my favorites videos once it's already into the first week of the following month, but I was waiting for my Sephora order to get here uh, with the giveaway for this video, which was the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk set. And I ordered it on April 17th or 18th and it's still not here and it's not going to be here until next week So I'm going to save that for the next video. I really hate to skip favorites So I decided to still film it even though the order and the giveaway item is not here But I still have some awesome goodies to share with you and let's just go ahead and get started So the first thing is my drink of choice during this quarantine which is it used to be wine and gin and tonic and then I realized I cannot keep going like that my husband and I both really like gin and um, we just would make ourselves a drink at the end of the day and then I thought you know it's probably really bad for a my weight and B I don't want to get too used to it um, so we went to Costco last week and I got the Spindrift, which is, it's a sparkling water, it's seltzer, but what the difference is between this one and other sparkling waters is that they actually squeeze real fruits into uh, this drink, and so you it tastes like seltzer mixed with an actual fruit juice, like a freshly squeezed orange or lemon or raspberry, whatever flavor you get. So I really, really love it. Um, it's just, it tastes different and way better and more rich than other seltzers. And so we get them at Costco, uh, but I'll link it from Amazon. They have sets on Amazon you can get as well, but I've just been really loving them. I can literally drink like 10 cans a day. I try not to, but I could. So if you are looking for a good drink and you don't want to drink wine every day, um, I would recommend this. And if you pour it in a wine glass or even kombucha, that's um, that's a good substitute too. If you want something like healthier than alcohol, but you want that flavor, drink kombucha out of a wine glass and it just, it really fools you. Um, the next thing is super random, but I really like it. It's a mouthwash that I got at Target. It's called the Ther Thera Breath Dentist Formulated Fresh Breath Oral Rinse uh, by Dr. Harold Katz. Um, and the flavor is mild mint. I got this because I we always use mouthwash, but my problem is that it's always so strong and it, it like burns and it's hard to keep it in your mouth and swish it for 60 seconds. It's just, it, I don't like it, it burns me, it's just like uncomfortable for me, but I like to use it, I like to always have fresh breath. And so I went on Target and I looked up, I think by reviews, by the highest star rating, and this one was number one. It has hundreds of five star reviews. And basically what it tastes like is something that my husband actually made um, like last year where he found a recipe for a mouthwash made with essential oils. And so it's like this minty, um, herbally kind of dri not drink, um, liquid but it doesn't burn at all but it still keeps you super super fresh it's like I think peppermint oil or so I don't I'm not really sure what they have in here but um, it just tastes really good without being burned without burning you and it still makes your breath super super fresh so I really love it um, and I'll link it below if you are looking for a good mouthwash because I've tried literally every brand and I just I just can't get on board with so many of them the next thing is the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc body oil. This one hair, it's just like, doesn't wanna go with the other hairs. Um, this is a body oil that smells like the Soleil Blanc perfume, which is one of my favorite perfumes by Tom Ford. I actually just ordered one today. They have really good sales on Berg of Goodman. So if the, vi the video goes up today, check out their website. I ordered the um, Costa, Costa Azure. I think the travel size little one from them I really love their coastal summery line they all smell so good and this is a body oil that not only moisturizes but it makes you smell so good all day long um, I didn't think that the smell would last very long I thought it's just gonna kind of moisturize you and then fade away but it actually lasts all day long and so if you want to try their perfume 
and you're not sure if you're gonna love it, you don't wanna spend the money because they are very pricey, definitely check something like this out. Um, at the end of the day, if you don't love the smell, like you're still gonna have a good moisturizer. And I really love it. I have it in two scents. I use it almost every single day. And the scent lingers and it's not strong. If you get like a headache with strong scents, it's not strong at all, but you can definitely still smell it. I just think it's like one of the best perfume products out there. I love it. Next is a uh, softening body scrub by Bath & Body Works and my friend got this for me. She found it on Amazon. She said that she's wanted to try it for so long and it's been sold out on Bath & Body Works forever and she finally found it on Amazon, tried it out, loved it so much that she, she got two more and gave me one. This is hands down the best scrub I've ever tried out of everything I've tried in my whole life. It not only has like those uh, crystals, like it's made of sugar, so it's pieces of sugar. It has so many of them, so you really feel like it's scrubbing you and it's really working. Whereas some other scrubs, they barely have any and you just kind of feel like it's not really doing anything. This one really is, it's almost like sandpaper, but at the same time, it's super moisturizing for your skin and so when you leave the shower you don't have to apply lotion which is a huge plus for me because i apply lotion every single time i get out of the shower i really don't like to do it it's like so annoying but i have to because my skin is so dry with this you don't it leaves you really moisturized warning though whoever's showering after you tell them you used it because the shower is very slippery so make sure you warn them um and it smells so good it's like a musky sexy honey smell i just i could literally drink it it smells so delicious um i wanted to pick up backups as soon as i tried it the first time and they were sold out so i'll look for it i'll do my best to find it and link it for you if i can't i'll just leave the name down so you can look for it yourself but it's so good and i think it retails for like I think she told me $14. Almost every single thing I bought here was on a major sale. I'm such a sales shopper, I rarely ever buy full price, like almost never. So I picked this up on sale at Neyman Marcus. I wanted to buy it during the Sephora VIB sale and it was all sold out. And it's the Jo Malone Silk Blossom Cologne. <sighs> so first of all, what drew me to it was that the, gr the glass is frosted. I think it's just so pretty and it makes it just like, I don't know, it just makes it more intriguing to me. I really wanted to smell it. They came out with the whole new line. So they have Silk Blossom, um, Lily, some kind of like Lily flower. Um, then they have some citrusy ones, but I felt like the Silk Blossom is something that just sounded the best out of all the new ones to me. And um, so I picked it up and I was not disappointed. It smells so delicious i don't even know really how to describe it i'll leave it below so you can see the description but it's like a sweet musky scent it's what you would think silk would smell like if it could have a smell like if you could picture that it's like a comforting warm musky like as if you're sitting in a warm blanket next to a fireplace, but also sweet. I don't know. It just smells so good. And I love it. The only thing about it, and this is my fourth Jo Malone cologne. Um, the only thing is it lasts a little bit less than the other ones. So what I've been doing is I've been mixing it with other perfumes. I've mixed it with um, the Peony and Blush. What is it called? Blush Suede and Peony? No, it's not. I don't remember the name. The peony one. I've mixed it with wood, sa wood sage and sea salt one. I've mixed it most recently. I've really been liking mixing this and this together. This is the Bronze Goddess by Estee Lauder. This is a very um, creamy, summery beach scent. I mix them together. It makes it just more complex and still beachy and summery, but like very but more muskier and just different. It just, I love the combination of these two. Um, so if you are looking for a new perfume, you wanna pick something up, you like Jo Malone, you want something uh, that you can mix with other scents because Jo Malone is meant to mix with other perfumes. 
I love this. I would definitely try it out. I almost wish I got the big one, but maybe in the um, in the fall VIB sale I'll get the big one. Next is a brow, uh, what is it called? Brow gel <laughs> that I'm wearing today. I'm so out of it, you guys. I haven't slept good. Last night I slept well, but before that I didn't sleep for like three nights because we had issues with Georgie. <laughs> If you, I'll have a vlog up after this, and or if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know he's been really gassy and it was so bad that I like had to sleep on the couch. It, it was just bad, like bad. So I'm, last night was the first night I slept in like four days. So I'm kind of, I'm still a little out of it. Um, but anyway, uh, this is an Anastasia Beverly Hills brow gel. I'm wearing it today. This is the only thing I'm wearing. And I know I have a lot of lights here, so it kind of makes my brows, like in person, they look really colored and filled in, but sometimes when I watch my videos back, they don't look like it at all. It does. It looks like I didn't really fill them in very well. But, um, and this one always looks lighter because I have more lights on this side of me. So just in case you were wondering, um, but you can see on this one, this is all I'm wearing. And I have the color taupe. I don't remember what the full name of this is, but obviously I'll link it. And what I love about it is that during the day, so if I had to wear one makeup product every day and that's it, just one, I would choose eyebrows because mine are very, they have a lot of bold spots and they're not very shaped. Like I got them done one time when I was like 13 and they literally waxed them all off. And ever since then, they never grew back correctly. I am scarred for life. I will never go and get it done again, I don't think. And so I always need to fill them in, even on days I'm not wearing makeup. And this one is so pigmented, but it's so easy to work with. It doesn't, like, it, it's not too thick or too heavy. You don't see it on the hairs. It coats them very nicely and evenly. The only thing is, and this is, I don't know if it's advertised as waterproof, but it is waterproof. I can't even get it off with a makeup remover. What I have to do is take oil, like coconut oil or jojoba oil, put it on a, a little cotton swab, and that's how I take it off at the end of the day, because it will not come off. So if you're gonna be sweating, if you're gonna go to the beach, the pool, whatever, and you want your eyebrows to stay, use this. It's so good. It does not move at all. Unless someone's going to throw oil on your face, it's going to stay on. Next, I have a, um, a little lip stain and I showed it in my last um, makeup haul video that I had on this channel and it's the Lipstick Queen Prince Frog or Frog Prince. Frog, <laughs> frog Prince. It's a lip stain and I got this set of two little ones. I don't think they sell this set anymore so I might just have to link the full size ones but it's green but once you apply it, it works with your body chemistry and your warmth, the warmth of your skin. And it creates a perfect pink shade, like a berry pink. And it's a stain. So it stays on all day long. Well, not all day, but it stays on for hours. And I love it because now, you know, we're all working from home or a lot of us are. And I love to fill my lips and put something on. So my lips are very they almost have no pigment so i like to apply something but i don't want to apply like lipstick and lip glosses and lip liners if i'm just gonna sit at home you know but i still like to have something and this gives me a nice color lasts a really long time i don't have to worry about it wearing off too quickly and it's perfect for just like if you just want to look a little bit better and feel prettier but you don't want to put on put on like a full makeup I've been loving it. I've used them for years, then I kind of stopped, and now I just got them again. And they're just like the best, the best lip stains. I have two more things. So this, again, I talked about in my last video, but I just wanted to mention it again. In case you haven't seen it, it's the Erin Rose Hand and Body Cream. Um, it's by the brand Erin, which is part of Estee Lauder. It's the best hand cream in the world <laughs> that I've ever tried. It's so, so moisturizing. It is pricey, and because of that, I would not use it on my body. I would just go through it too quickly. But um, on my hands, it leaves your hands with this like coating of just moisture that you 
constantly feel until you wash your hands and it's not tacky it's not like a weird residue where you feel it or it's like sometimes when i've used hand lotions that i didn't like like they would have it almost felt like rough when you touched it like as if you were touching like a dry piece of paper um this one constantly moisturizes so comfortable it's almost like like a moisturizing gel kind of a consistency it smells like roses it's so good um i have this one i have one i have a mini one at my office i have a another mini mo blah, blah, blah. mini one in my purse they're just uh, really really good hand creams if you are looking for a good hand cream if your hands are dry i would definitely recommend and the last thing this was my number one seller on my reward style links that i've ever posted on instagram um in a video i think i tagged it in a jamaica vlog i don't I, like you guys went crazy for it and now it's on a crazy sale so i had to mention it again and it's the hair pins the these seashells hair pins from bp at nordstrom i purchased them before I went to Jamaica back in at the beginning of February and they were $20 each set or two for 30 and I just bought one at a time I bought one I loved it so much I ended up getting the other set so I paid like $40 and now they're I think either seven or around five dollars each so you can get both of them for around 10 to 15 dollars and they sell out like crazy but they keep coming back in stock so even if they're sold out i'll link them and just check in in a couple of days i see them back in stock constantly they're so pretty aren't they so nice they're very very well made like they just they're not like cheap and flimsy and i wore them in jamaica i love them i think they're so fun if you are looking for something fun and summery to wear in your hair, you want like a little accessory, but you don't want anything like too crazy. Aren't they so fun? I just love them. So I wanted to mention them because you guys, I could not even believe how many messages I got about it. How many people asked me where I got it from, even when I linked it in a picture, like everyone went crazy. So if you like them, now is the time to get them on sale. And that's it for my favorites. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know how you're doing in this crazy quarantine life. I remember when I was filming my March favorites and I was like really waiting for April, thinking that in April everything will go back to normal or at least start. And it didn't, not even near. Um, New Jersey just opened their parks yesterday. Um, but some beaches are closed, like some parks are still closed, they open some of them, like it's still, like the majority of everything is shut down, um, and I was just told, I had a Skype phone call with my office on, um, on Friday, and I was told that we're gonna be working from home for at least another month, so it looks like we'll be here for a while, um, I'm hoping I can still go to Florida in June, we had a trip planned in April that we couldn't go, obviously, to look at houses and pick one so now we're gonna go in june i hope i hope that doesn't get canceled but yeah so let me know what your favorites were during this working from home time if you found anything that you really love and thank you so much for watching i'll see you soon bye